Well, a man who has been convicted of drunk driving before is accused of driving drunk and killing a couple and their little girl. Police say he caused a deadly accident. It happened in Arlington. Fox Force Mavis Lease is in Arlington as well tonight with more. Natalie. Yeah, Steve, this suspect is a repeat DWI offender. He was convicted of driving drunk in 2002. Now, friends of the family killed say this was a very exciting time in their lives. Uh, they were finally all together in this country, and they just happened to be out late last night uh, buying food for one last meal before Ramadan. Last time I saw him was an hour before he died here. Yassim Jamal Kanuni became friends with Najib Intadam through their mosque in Arlington. Their last conversation, lighthearted teasing. We were sitting down and he was making fun of me because I'd never been to Morocco. <laughs> Najib, his wife Hanan, and their daughter Noor, just two weeks shy of her first birthday, had been at the mosque for prayer Tuesday night. They took a friend home, then went to Walmart to pick up groceries for a meal before fasting for Ramadan. They were disabled in the middle lane of travel, so... Police say 41-year-old Benjamin Ray Stewart slammed into them from behind on eastbound I-30, disabling their car in the middle of the freeway. As they tried to get to safety, a truck slammed into them, killing Najib, his wife, and daughter. Cherish your family and friends. Relatives say Najib came from Morocco several years ago, but his wife and young daughter arrived in the last few months, nor here in home video taking her very first steps two days ago. They were great people, and I just hope that everyone understands that drinking and driving isn't a good thing to be doing because it brings sorrow upon families that are lost. Friends say Najib was a mechanic with a cheerful disposition. Out of four years I knew him, I swear I've never seen him mad or frown or say anything bad. He was always positive. And he was loving that his family was complete, focused on building their lives together among friends in their new home. We are all brothers in Islam and he was like family to all of us. Sad to think, you know, I, sat, I just sat with him and then an hour or two later he, you know, his life ended. All right, that suspect, Benjamin Ray Stewart, faces three counts of intoxication manslaughter. He is also charged with failure to stop and render aid. Heather? All right, so Natalie, this guy tried to take off. Talk about how police were able to catch up with him. Right, well, first he tried to get away in his car, but his car was disabled after that accident, so he wasn't able to get very, very far in his pickup. Uh, then police say he took off on foot and went into a wooded area. Uh, they then had to use some thermal imaging cameras, and it was with that technology that they were finally able to catch up with him. Heather? All right, Natalie Solis, live for us tonight. Thank you.